this is me and today I'm going to do a video on how to muck out a stable. I thought this would be really interesting for you guys because you always request cleaning videos. I was going to do a spring clean video however it's still sort of winter over here in the UK. We've currently got storm Freya here. We've had lots of storms recently so it's really windy and rainy outside. So the horse is actually going in tonight so I thought I'd show you me mucking them out. Obviously lots of different people have different techniques when it comes to mucking so if yours is different to mine that's really cool I thought I'd show you my sort of way because I understand a lot of people who are maybe beginners to riding or have just had riding lessons you don't really get taught how to muck out a stable they just say here's a shovel and scoop the poop there's lots of different techniques that I actually use to try and save as much shavings as possible I understand that all stables or stalls aren't the same and the way that I muck out is very sort of British way I understand that lots of different people from different countries use different types of beddings and put the bedding in different places so I'm going to show you my way so our horses are on wood shavings that are dust free I understand that some people use cardboard shavings some people use straw so I'm going to show you sort of my routine and way of mucking out I also understand that some people use deep litter bedding where they use loads of shavings and each time they muck out they put more shavings on top and don't remove the wet shavings and just take out the poops. What I do is because our horses in their stables have matting down which is nice and squidgy so when they lie down it's nice and soft. We just have shavings really for absorbency so that's why we don't actually have that much shavings in the stables at the moment because today is their shavings day when they get more shavings put in their stables but anyway let's get mucking out. So here I have some utensils that I'll be using. Here I have a shovel, however I don't tend to use shovels that often, mainly because this one has quite a short handle and I prefer long handled ones because they're better for your back so you don't have to sort of hunch over as much. Also I find that they pick up a lot of clean shavings which you don't want which is also waste and waste of your money because shavings are expensive. So I'm mainly going to be using this shavings fork today which I prefer, however I understand lots of people prefer different things. Also if you're mucking out with straw a lot of people use pitchforks as well. So today I'm going to be using this. Oh my goodness, it's so windy outside at the moment. Anyway, the next utensil I'll be using is a broom. This one is sort of like a witch's broom, I think some people call it. I find that these work really well because they're really flicky at getting all the shavings and the dust moving. But also, um, when I sweep out the yard, or if you're in a barn than the aisles of the barn, I like using the wider brushes because you get a lot done a lot quicker. <laughs> And lastly, I have a muck bucket. However, I understand that some people use wheelbarrows instead. Because our muck goes in a trailer, it's actually easier to use an old water bucket. This one used to be Casper's. However, it's got a hole in now, so it doesn't hold water. So we use it for moving the muck. Um, and because we put our muck in a trailer, it's just easier to lift it up and, and put it over rather than having to lift up a whole wheelbarrow. But anyway, now it's time to start mucking. <laughs> So before we start mucking, there's one last thing I need to do and that is to take everything out of Casper's stable, so his hay net and his water, because when I'm mucking out the dust can fly up everywhere and you don't want Casper to have a dusty water bucket or dusty hay net. Okay, so Casper here has left his stable in quite a state. All the shavings and muck has all moved around and been mixed together, which is not helpful. So the first thing I always go for are the poops to pick up, just because they're the easiest to sort of spot within the shavings. So let's do that. So what I do is with my fork, um, I sort of lift up as much poo as I can in one little pile. And then I, here you can see I've got a few clean shavings. So what I do is I sort of shake it like so. So I try and get rid of as much of the shavings here on the fork as you can see. So there's only about like three or four shavings in here so it's mainly just poop. So that's why I prefer to use these forks. So time to put it in the bucket. Something that you might find if you muck out the same horse's stable on a regular basis, you sort of get to know where they pee. So Mickey and Casper both pee in the right hand corner of their stable. So I can already see that there is some pee here. However, it's always good to use a fork to sort of lift up a little bit of the shavings so you can see underneath if there is any pee because sometimes they can mix it all together. So what I like to do is I like to sort of make a pee little pile. So I'll just scrape all the pee shavings also, as you can see, these shavings back here are nice and clean in the corner, so I'm just going to shift those up and away. 
So as you can see, there are still a few little poos in here. Don't worry about that, we will get them later. It's just may need to get the big stuff first, so it's just a bit easier. So I've now I've sort of made the little pee pile because you've sort of separated all the yucky stuff to the nice clean stuff. So I'm just going to put that in my bucket. I'm having to get the GoPro, which is covered in muck. So I'm getting in the trailer. Hope it doesn't fall over with me in it. What? There we go. Where are you, GoPro? You might need a clean. Oh, oh my gosh, have we lost it? No, I can see it. Hello. Hello, let's move the shavings. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, okay. Pick it up by the little corner. We have retrieved the GoPro. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so something that I'm going to be doing now that I always get like questions, so I think it's quite a British thing that I do, is I move all of the remaining shavings to the back of the stable, and that's so then I can leave the area where the pee was to dry and evaporate. So let's do that now. Okay, so you would have just seen me move all of the shavings to the back and I understand that there are still a few little poops left in the shavings. So this is my method of getting rid of the last couple of poops. I understand some people like to use rubber gloves and pick them up. I find this way works really well for me. So what I do is I toss up all of the shavings and then any of the remaining poos sort of roll to the bottom. So here I've got some little poos here. And I find this works really well. So here a few more have rolled down. And it just helps to get all the last little ones out. Okay, so now we're on to sweeping. And something that I like to do, because the stable is quite dusty at the moment, I like to sweep any of the remaining shavings out of the stable. I know that some people like to sweep them back into the banks, but just because Mickey does have a slight respiratory problem, I do like to remove as much dust from their stables as possible. So, time for sweeping. So now I've swept some of the shavings out of the stable, now I need to clear this mess up so I'm just going to sweep this into a pile and then put it in the muck truck. Now the stables are clean and all of the shavings are up against the wall, I like to go on to do something else, for example mucking out other horses' stables or making up feeds or hay net because this just gives a chance for the mats to dry out and all of the water to evaporate from the wet mats. So I'm going to go and do that. So when I'm back I'm going to put all the shavings back into the centre of the stable and the reason why I like to put the shavings at the centre of the stable is because that's where all the pee goes So then all of the old shavings go where the pee is going to be in the future because you sort of know where your horse pees in its stable and then I'm going to get some new shavings and that can be the sort of new banks. Now I'm adding the shavings and you would have just seen me cut one of the bales in half. This is because I like to put half in Mickey's and half in Casper's so I'm just going to take this over to Mickey's stable now and then we'll add Casper's. <laughs> Mm. 
for me, this is definitely the most fun part of mucking out because it's really satisfying getting to move around all of the new shavings. hose pipes if you're really far away from the tap and need to turn it off what you can do is just stop it like this so you just make a little kink in it and the water stops starting. there's only a tiny little bit of dribble that's coming out so you can quickly run back to the tap and turn it off when you need to so another tip I have about moving water buckets because they can be really heavy and it's not good for your back to carry such a heavy water bucket. So usually I get a friend to help me or if you're alone at the barn or the yard or the stables, what I like to do is use a lead rope. So if you just thread it through one of the handles, you can drag it along, which is much better for your back and you're less likely to drop it or spill the water. So I'm just gonna drag it into Casper's stable. Okay guys, Casper's stable is now all nice and clean, ready for the night because the weather is so horrible outside. It's windy, it's rainy, we've got a storm. So I think it's gonna be nice and tucked up in here. However, I do prefer my horses being outside in the fields and just being a horse. However, at the moment, it's really sad that the weather has been so horrible recently. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and then maybe it helped some of you guys or if you already know how to muck out a stable, um, it might be quite satisfying for you guys to watch. Or if you guys have any other the mucking out techniques tips or tricks then leave them in the comments below because I understand that a lot of people muck out in lots of different ways so I'd find that really interesting finding out what you guys do but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time bye